So let me share my screen to show you the problem that we are going to be discussing, maximizing revenue. I hope you can see my screen. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, read it to you. From previous experience, a fruit grower knows that each tree will yield an average of 137 pounds and will sell for $1.10 per pound. However, for each additional week the harvest is delayed, the yield per pound will increase per four, uh, increase by 4.3 pounds, while the price per pound will decrease by uh, three pennies, $0.03. Dollars. So what's the problem telling us that by experience, this farmer knows or this uh, uh, grower, fruit grower knows that um, if he waits his, you know, to harvest the tree, he's gonna have more fruit. So that's better for him. But at the same time, the price is decreasing. And this question has two parts. Part A is asking, how many weeks should the grower wait before harvesting the apples in order to maximize the sales revenue uh, per tree? Round your answer to the nearest tent. And part B is saying that find the actual maximum revenue. So let me stop share and get my iPad involved so we can take a look at it together. Uh, Okay. Let's okay, and here is my iPad involved so I can you know talk to you about this problem. So what is it that we know? We know that revenue Revenue equals price multiplied by quantity. And that makes sense. The higher the price, the more revenue. The more items you sell, the more revenue. So now, how can we use this uh, formula to translate this problem from words to algebra? So, This is a U in here, okay. So I can say that R, okay, as a function of X equals. So what is the price? We know that the price is uh, 1.1 of a dollar by his experience, but we know that the price is decreasing. So uh, three pennies, 0.03 by however many, uh, Each, by each week, so X is so now, the X here is how many weeks we are waiting. And how about quantity? Quantity, his, his experience is, tell, is telling him or her that 137 pounds is sold, but if you wait for each week, you are uh, multiplying that by 4.3. So 4.3 pounds more of X. All right. So now I can claim that R as a function of X equals, and go ahead and distribute this. I will get, uh, let me use my calculator in here. So uh, getting 150.7, so that gives me plus 1.1 times that, so 4.73x minus 4.11x minus 0.129x to the second. Let's, let's actually put our x squared in front. And we know that 
these two are like terms, so we can combine them. So r as a function of x equals negative 0 0.129 x to the second plus 0 0.1 and 1, that gives me a 2, that gives me a 6, so 6 to x and plus 150.7. So notice that I have a quadratic, which is uh, it's the coefficient of x to the second is negative. It's an upside down parabola. So the vertex points out to the maximum. So let me go ahead and go to the next page and uh, finding the vertex. So for the vertex, I have opposite of b over 2a. So minus 0 0.62 over 2 times negative 0 0.129, negative and negative cancels out. So if I put this in my calculator, I get uh, 2.4031075. So let's say 2.4 weeks. Remember that we were told to round to one decimal. So part B was asking that find the max. So this is, you know, uh, the max in, in 2.4 weeks, we would, this farmer, this grower would maximize the uh, revenue. So the question is find the actual, what is the revenue, actual revenue? That's easy. So R of 2.4031, Equals, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, substitute that in my revenue function negative 0 0.129, 2.4031 to the second plus 0 0.62, 2.4031, and then we had plus 150.7. And plugging that in the calculator gives us, and we, we were told to do to one decimal. So this equals uh, 151.4449612. So to one decimal, I get um, 100 and, oh, part B actually said to the nearest dollar. I apologize, to the nearest dollar, 151 will be uh, um, maximizing that. All right, thank you.